exactly is a premium Android smartphone today? It's basically a big screen phone that has a notch, a glass back, some high-end processor and a few gaming modes, a fancy screen and some AI programming, but the only real differentiation are just the little things. Well, sliding in my hands is this, the Honor Magic 2. By bringing back an old feature, Huawei claims to have created a large bit of separation from the pack of standard Android designs. I'm Adam, tech editor with Gizmo China, and let's see if Huawei has something magical with the Honor Magic 2. Opening the really fine box with an outline of the special phone inside with clean Honor Magic 2 text on top, you see the all screen phone right off the bat. Well presented for sure. Getting past the phone, you get a hard shell phone case, SIM card ejector tool, and some paperwork. Beyond that was the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter audio dongle, a USB-C charging cable, and a supercharged 40 watt charger. I've reviewed quite a few Huawei and Honor devices lately, and have pretty much gone over the standard design of these devices, but this one has something very, very different. Extremely different. At first glance, the Magic 2 looks like many phones these days, a black rectangle that measures 75.1 millimeters wide, 157.3 millimeters tall, and only 8.3 millimeters thick. But as I turned the device over to the back, I saw the extra camera bump as well as a shiny multicolored smooth gradient back glass. And it looks fantastic, mostly. The colors are maybe a little too shiny and it kind of looks like one of the old plastic back Samsungs. You remember those, right? When the back of the phone came off and you could change the batteries? <sighs> That said, it certainly doesn't feel like plastic, but definitely feels premium, as it is for sure. It's so extremely smooth that it'll actually slide any chance it gets, like it's on snow skis. So keep a good grip on it and or use the case as it's matte and far more grip-tastic. But the color of the back isn't why we're here, is it? That's right, this is a slider phone. The Magic 2 is a modern slider design with three front-facing cameras and no notch on the screen. When looking at the phone in standard mode, it's just all beautiful screen. Just look at it. We've been waiting for this to happen for a while now, and now Huawei has done it with a truly modern and innovative take on a mobile classic. The sliding mechanism feels solid, and maybe a little too solid as it's difficult to open at times. The benefit, however, of a smooth and well-designed butterfly multi-track system is that it'll last a long time and shouldn't hamper the general operation by accidentally sliding when you don't want it to, which is groovy. Although it looks as if the screen is all that slides, the internals are actually attached to the 6.39 inch 1080 by 2340 pixel AMOLED notchless screen. And the sliding happens against the rear of the phone, which adds to the slide rigidity and quality. It's a really well thought out design that others coming out with full screen slider devices recently haven't really grasped as well as Huawei. As for the button layout, expect the standard right side power button and volume rockers, and the hybrid dual SIM SD card is on the left. The top has an IR blaster and one of the dual mics for noise reduction, while the bottom has the main microphone, a USB-C port, and a speaker. No 3.5 millimeter audio jack here. Dongle City or Bluetooth on this one. Previous Honor devices have generally had Honor branding on the front chin of the phone, but I'm pretty sure there's no room on this one, and that's why it's not anywhere to be seen, which I like a lot. The back of the phone has the aforementioned dual color and two camera modules. One with two cameras and a flash and the other with a lone circular camera. There's a little honor branding along the bottom left side and AI camera branding just below the camera. One thing missing is a fingerprint sensor placement. Wait, actually, there is a fingerprint sensor on the screen. Woohoo! <laughs> These are getting fun. On the front, just at the top, is a speaker pass-through that when slid down shows the entire speaker, which is fairly well sized. As for the sound, it's good. Fairly full sounding, not really loud, but decent for most uses. The earpiece speaker is not used when watching videos, listening to music, or playing games, so it's a true one speaker system. Here's an example for you.
if you're enjoying our review of the Honor Magic 2, make sure to press the like button. We'd love to hear your thoughts on if you think the slider is a style you can see becoming the next big thing in mobile phones. Please leave your comments below and subscribe to the Gizmo China channel for more smartphone and tech goodness. Well, there's not much to say that hasn't already been said as to the OS. The Honor Magic 2 comes with the latest Android 9.0 Pie and a rebranded EMUI called Magic UI 2.0, which is supposed to be more AI focused, but I didn't really see many differences other than some color and icon changes. Moving on. Security on the device is pretty interesting as Huawei has included both an in-screen fingerprint sensor that actually failed way too often for my liking and is generally slower than a physical implementation. And then there's also a 3D facial scanning unlock, which would be groovy, but you need to slide the phone down first for this to happen, which is far slower than the already slow fingerprint sensor, which is too bad as once slid, the facial recognition is pretty fast, if just not convenient. Rolling with the standard flagship sock, the 7 nanometer Kirin 980 is a fine place to start with any phone. With an octa-core CPU and the Mali GPU that really kicks things into high gear, then add in up to 8 gigabytes of RAM and either 128 or 256 gigabytes storage makes this one fine beast for videos and gaming. You can add up to 256 gigabytes storage through a micro SD card, as has been the case lately. Lately, the Antutu score did not agree with PUBG's continuing low quality assessment of Huawei internals with a fantastic score of 249,822 for the Magic 2. I mean, check out how well this phone games. Nothing stuttering or lagging, but just buttery gaming goodness. Thankfully, Huawei has also bestowed the Honor Magic 2 with a decent 3,500 milliamp battery, which gives about eight to nine hours of constant extreme use. But most people should have no issue going through the day with battery power left over. Huawei definitely doesn't want you to run out of battery, but if you do, the Honor Magic 2 has a fantastic 40 watt fast charger that'll get you to 50% in only 15 to 20 minutes. Wowza! There's no getting around the Magic 2 without talking about the cameras. All six of them. Let's start with the main rear set as it seems to be very similar to the triple camera on the astounding Huawei P20 Pro. Even includes a monochrome sensor. You've got the main 16 megapixel f2.0 sensor, an ultra wide 16 megapixel f2.2 17 millimeter sensor, and the aforementioned 24 megapixel f1.8 monochrome sensor. There is only AI digital stabilization for all all camera modes, so a gimbal would certainly be beneficial for video use. The photos from this setup are excellent. Here are a few samples shot in different lighting conditions. As you can see, the well-lit shots are really good, although using the ultra-wide adds in some hefty distortion on close-up photos, but looks a lot better on landscapes. The standout modes are the standard photo, AR lens, video, slow-mo, pro, monochrome, artist, and night. It's actually pretty cool with AR lens, you get to add characters into your shot, be it still image or video. The add-in characters are limited however. Video options are strong with 4K and a 60 frames per second 1080p option. Slow-mo has 1080p at 120 frames per second and 720p at 480 frames per second. Most people are going to be pleased with the video on this device even if it doesn't quite reach the quality of some of the top phones for overall video. With that let's slide into the front facing camera module with its very unique 16 megapixel AI triple camera array. Starting with a main 16 megapixel f 2.0 camera and two 2 megapixel cameras used in conjunction with the 3D sensing capabilities actually allows the selfie portrait mode to work. I don't think I've seen that before, but it actually succeeds at blurring out the background and even can filter the bokeh in creative ways. Well done on this. Well, I'm not sure that the slider is gonna catch on as a standard, but I applaud Huawei for the engineering and design here. I mean, it allows for a fantastic camera array that took quality shots I've not seen previously. That said, the mechanism is a bit difficult for one-handed sliding and the in-screen fingerprint sensor is one of the slower I've used. Once unlocked, the interface was solid, uh, really smooth and clean in use. I really like the feel of using this device and the design is probably one of my favorite from the Honor series. The cameras, all six, do a really fine job and take excellent images in both still and video forms. I like this phone quite a bit and feel it's really a perfect device for tech enthusiasts and lovers of excellent design. Differentiation achieved. <laughs>